Hey friends, and welcome back to A Simple Truth. Now, if you remember, we finished up Ezra, Ezra. We finished up Esther yesterday, uh, and we are hopping into Ezra. Uh, we've been in Ezra before, I think it was about a week ago, and I think that caught us up to chapter six. Uh, but now, picking up on chapter seven, we're gonna be doing seven through 10 today. Ezra is a scribe. So if we look at, um, well, if you listen or read, if you're reading along, uh, to who Ezra is, he is a scribe in the Mosaic Law. Um, so he knows his stuff. Uh, so we're going to be looking at his arrival, uh, his letter to King Arataxas. Um, we're going to look at uh, the servants and the gifts of the temple, uh, a return to Jerusalem. And then we're going to see a little bit about intermarrying uh, with pagans. So again, God has said, don't join with these specific sets of people. And there's a reason for it, right? Uh, as if they are, and we mentioned this very early on, if they are unequally yoked, uh, if they have different beliefs, then God tells them what's going to happen. He's like, your wives um, will will distract you, will pull you away to other gods. Um, so do not intermarry with them. So we'll look at that really briefly. Again, all of this in Ezra 7 through 10. So, chapter 7. Now, after these things, in the reign of Aretaxus, king of Persia, Ezra, the son of Sarariah, the son, the son of Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Shalom, the son of Zadok, the son of Ahitub, the son of Amariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Marioth, the son of Zerariah, the son of Uzi, the son of Buki, the son of Abishua, the son of Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the chief priest. This Ezra came up from Babylon. He was skilled, a skilled scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given. The king granted all his requests according to the hand of the Lord, his God, upon him. Some of the children of Israel, the priests, the Levites, the singers, the gatekeepers, and the Nethanim came up to Jerusalem in the seventh year of King Aretaxus. And Ezra came to Jerusalem in the fifth month, which was in the seventh year of the king. On the first day of the month, he began his journey from Babylon, and on the first day of the fifth month, he came to Jerusalem, according to the good hand of his God upon him. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord, and to do it, and to teach the statutes and ordinances in Israel. This is a copy of the letter that King Aretaxus gave Ezra the priest, the scribe, expert in the words of, his com of the commandments of the Lord, and of his statutes to Israel. Aretaxus, the king of kings, to Ezra, the priest, a scribe of the law of the, of the God of heaven, perfect peace, and so forth, I issue a decree that all those of the people of Israel and the priests and Levites in my realm who volunteer to go up to Jerusalem may go with you, and whereas you are being sent by the king and his seven counselors to inquire concerning Judah and Jerusalem with regard to the law of the Lord your God, which is in your hand, and whereas you are to carry the silver and gold which the king and his counselors have freely offered to the God of Israel, whose dwelling is in Jerusalem. And whereas all the silver and gold that you may find in all the province of Babylon, along with the free will offering of the people and the priests, are to be freely offered for the house of their God in Jerusalem. Now, Therefore, be careful to buy with this money bulls and rams and lambs with their grain offerings and their drink offerings, and offer them on the altar of the house of the Lord your God in Jerusalem. And whatever seems good to you and your brethren to do with the rest of the silver and the gold, do it according to the will of your God. Also, the articles that are given to you for the service of the house of your God, deliver them Deliver in full before the God of Jerusalem, and whatever more may be needed for the house of your God, which you may have occasion to provide, pay for it from the king's treasury. And I, even I, Aretaxus the king, will issue a decree to all treasures who are in the region beyond the river, and whatever Ezra the priest, the scribe of the law of God of heaven, may require of you, let it be done diligently. Up to 100 talents of silver, 100 cores of wheat, 100 baths of wine, 100 baths of oil, and a salt without prescribed limit. Whatever is commanded by the God of heaven, let it be diligently, let it diligently be done for the house of the God of heaven. For why should there be wrath against the, against the realm of the king and his sons? 
Also, we inform you that it shall not be lawful to impose tax, tribute, or custom on any of the priests, Levites, singers, gatekeepers, Nethanim, or servants of this house of God. And you, Ezra, according to your God-given wisdom, wisdom, set magistrates and judges who may judge all the people who are in the region beyond the river, all such as know the laws of your God, and teach those who do not know them. Whoever will not observe the law of your God and the law of the king, let judgment be executed speedily on him, whether it be death or banishment or confiscation of goods or imprisonment. Blessed be the Lord God of our fathers, who has put such a thing as this in the king's heart to beautify the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem, and has extended mercy to me before the king and his counselors, and before all the king's mighty princes. So I was encouraged as the hand of the Lord my God was upon me, and I gathered leading men of Israel to go up with me. Chapter 8. These are the heads of their fathers' houses, and this is the genealogy of those who went with me from Babylon in the reign of King Aretaxus, of the sons of Phinehas, Gershom, of the sons of Ithamar, Daniel, of the sons of David, Hattush, of the sons of Shechaniah, the sons of Perosh, Zechariah, and registered with him were 150 males. Of the sons of Pehath, Moab, Ahilioni, the son of Zerariah, and with him two hundred males. Of the sons of Shechaniah, Ben-Jahazil, and with him three hundred males. Of the sons of Adin, Ebed, the son of Jonathan, and with him fifty males. Of the sons of Elam, Jeshaiah, the son of Athaliah, and with him seventy males. Of the sons of Zephathiah, Zabadiah, the son of Michael, and with him eighty males. Of the sons of Joab, Obadiah, the son of Jehiel, and with him 218 males. Of the sons of Shelomith, Ben, Joshaphiah, and with him 160 males. Of the sons of Babai, Zechariah, the son of Babai, and with him 28 males. Of the sons of Asgad, Jehanan, the son of Hakatan, and with him 110 males. Of the last sons of Adomicam, those uh, whose names were these, Ephelet, Jalil, and Shemamiah, and with them sixty males. Also the sons of Bigvi, Uthai, and Zabud, with them seventy males. Now I gathered them by the river that flows to Havada, and we camped there three days. And I looked among the people and the priests, and found none of the sons of Levi were there. Then I sent for Eleazar, Ariel, Shemamiah, Elnathan, Jerib, Elnathan, Nathan, Zechariah, and Meshulam, leaders also for Jorib and Elnathan, men of understanding. And I gave them a command for Edo, the chief men at the palace, Capsia, and I told them what they should do to Edo, or what they should say to Edo and his brethren, the Nethanim, at the place Capsia. Kesphia, there we go, Kesphia, that they should bring us servants for the house of our God. Then, by the good hand of our God upon us, they brought us a man of understanding, the sons of Mahli, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, namely Sherebiah, with his sons and brothers, eighteen men, and Hashabiah, and with him Jeshaiah, of the sons of Merari, his brothers and their sons, twenty men. Also of the Nethanim, whom David and the leaders had appointed for the service of the Levites, 220 Nethanim. All of them were designed, designated by name. Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Avada, that we might humble ourselves before our God, to seek from him the right way for us and our little ones and all our possessions. For I was ashamed to request the of the king an escort of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy on the road, because we had spoken to the king, saying, The hand of our God is upon all those for good who seek him, but his power and his wrath are against all those who forsake him. So we fasted and entreated our God for this, and he answered our prayer. And I separated twelve of the leaders of the priest, Sherebiah, Hashabiah, and ten of their brethren with them, and weighed out to them the silver, the gold, and the articles, the offering of the house of our God, which the king of Israel and his which the king and his counselors and his princes and all Israel who were present had offered. I weighed into their hand six hundred and fifty talents of silver, silver articles weighing one hundred talents, one hundred talents of gold, twenty gold basins worth a thousand drachmas, and two vessels of fine polished bronze, precious as gold. 
And I said to them, you are holy to the Lord. The articles are holy also, and the silver and the gold are a free will offering to the Lord God of your fathers. Watch and keep them until you weigh them before the leaders of the priests and the Levites and heads of the fathers' houses of Israel and Jerusalem in the chambers of the house of the Lord. So the priests and the Levites received the silver and the gold and the articles by weight to bring them to Jerusalem to the house of our God. Then we departed from the river of Ahava on the twelfth day of the first month to go to Jerusalem. And the hand of our God was upon us, and he delivered us from the hand of the enemy and from ambush along the road. So we came to Jerusalem and stayed there three days. Now, on the fourth day, the silver and the gold and the articles were weighed in the house of our God by the hand of Merimoth, the son of Uriah the priest, and with him was Eleazar, the son of Phineas. Of Phineas, excuse me. With them were the Levites, Josabad, the son of Jeshua, and Nodiah, the son of Benui, with the number and weight of everything. All the weight was written down at that time. The children of those who had been carried away captive, who had come from captivity, offered burnt offerings to the God of Israel, twenty bulls for all of Israel, ninety-six rams, seventy-seven lambs, and twelve male goats as a sin offering. All this was a burnt offering to the Lord. And they delivered the king's orders to the king's satraps and governors in the region beyond the river. So they gave support to the people and the house of God. Chapter 9. When these things were done, the leaders came to me, saying, The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands with respect to the abominations of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. For they have taken some of their daughters as wives for themselves and their sons, so that the holy seed is mixed with the peoples of those lands. Indeed, the hand of the leaders and the rulers has been foremost in this trespass. So when I heard this thing, I tore my garment and my robe and plucked out some of my hair of my head and beard and sat down astonished. Then everyone who trembled at the words of the God of Israel assembled to me because of the transgression of those who had been carried away captive, and I sat astonished until the evening sacrifice. At the evening sacrifice, I arose from my fasting, and having torn my garment and my robe, I fell on my knees and spread out my hands to the Lord my God. And I said, O oh my God, I am too ashamed and humiliated to lift up my face to you. My God, for our iniquities have risen higher than our heads, and our guilt has grown up to the heavens. Since the days of our fathers to this day, we have been very guilty, and for our iniquities, our kings and our princes, our priests have been delivered into the hand of kings of the lands, to the sword, to captivity, to plunder, and to humiliation, as it is this day. And now, for a little while, grace has been shown from the Lord our God to leave us a remnant to escape and to give us a peg in his holy place, that our God may enlighten our eyes and give us a measure of revival in our bondage. For we were slaves, yet our God did not forsake us in our bondage, but he extended mercy to us in the sight of the kings of Persia to revive us, to repair the house of our God, to rebuild its ruins, and to give a wall in Judah and Jerusalem. And now, O our God, what shall we say after this? For we have forsaken your commandments, which you commanded by your servants, the prophets, saying, The land which you are entering to possess is an unclean land, with the uncleanness of the peoples of the lands, with their abominations, with which they have filled it from one end to another with their impu impurity. Now, therefore, do not give your daughters as wives to their sons, nor take their daughters to your sons, and never seek their peace or prosperity, that you may be strong and eat good of the land and leave it as an inheritance to your children forever. And after all that has come upon you out of our evil deeds and for our great guilt, since you, our God, have punished us less than our iniquities deserve and have given us such deliverance as this, should we again break your commandments and join in marriage with the people committing these abominations? Would you not be angry with us until you had consumed us so there would be no remnant or survivor? O Lord, God of Israel, you are righteous, for we are left as a remnant, as it is this day. We are before you in our guilt, because no one can stand before you because of this. Chapter 10. Now, while Ezra was praying and while he was confessing, weeping and bowing down before the house of God, a very large assembly of men, women, and children gathered to him from Israel, for the people wept very bitterly. 
And Shechaniah, the son of Jehiel, one of the sons of Elam, spoke up and said to Ezra, We have trespassed against our God, and have taken pagan wives from the peoples of the land. Yet now there is hope in Israel in spite of this. Now, therefore, let us make a covenant with our God to put away all these wives, and those who have been born to them according to the advice of my master, and of those who tremble at the commandment of our God, and let it be done according to the law. Arise, for this matter is your responsibility. We are also with you. Be of good courage and do it. Then Ezra arose and made the leaders of the priests, the Levites, and all Israel swear an oath that they would do according to this word. So they swore an oath. Then Ezra rode up from before the house of God and went into the chamber of Jeho Jehohanan, the son of Elisha. And when he came there, he ate no bread and drank no water, for he had mourned because of the guilt of those from, cap cap from captivity. And they issued a proclamation throughout Judah and Jerusalem to all the descendants of the captivity that they must gather at Jerusalem. And whatsoever who would not come within three days, according to the instructions of the leaders and elders, all his property would be confiscated, and he himself would be separated from the assembly of those from the captivity. So all the men of Judah and Benjamin gathered at Jerusalem within three days. It was a ninth. It was on the ninth month on the 20th of the month, and all the people sat in the open square of the house of God, trembling because of this matter, and because of heavy rain. Then Ezra the priest stood up and said to them, You have transgressed and taken pagan wives, adding to the guilt of Israel. Now therefore, make confession to the Lord, God of your fathers, and do his will. Separate yourselves from the people of the land and from the pagan wives. Then all the assembly answered and said with a loud voice, Yes, as you have said, so must we do. But there are many people. It is the season for heavy rain, and we are not able to stand outside. Nor is this the work of one or two days, for are there are many of us who have transgressed in this matter. Please let the leaders of our entire assembly stand, and let the, all those in the cities who have taken pagan wives come and appoint at appointed times, together with the elders and judges of their cities, until the fierce wrath of our God has turned away from us in this matter. Only Jonathan, the son of Asahel, and Jehaziah, the son of Tikva, opposed this. And Meshulam and Shabbatai, the Levite, gave their support. Then the descendants of the captivity did so, and Ezra the priest, with certain heads of the father's households, were set apart by the father's households, each of them by name. And they sat down on the first day of the tenth month to examine the matter. By the first day of the first month, they had finished questioning all the men who had taken pagan wives. And among the sons of the priests who had taken pagan wives, the following were found of the sons of Jeshua, the son of Josadak, and his brothers, Messiah, Eleazar, Jerib, and Gedaliah. And they gave their promise they would, they would put away their wives, and being guilty, they presented a ram of the flock as trespass offering. Also of the sons of Immer, Hanani, and Zabadiah, of the sons of Harim, Messiah, Elijah, Shemaiah, Jaleel, Uzai, of the sons of Pasher, Ilioni, Messiah, Ishmael, Nathaniel, Josabad, and Elisa. Also of the Levites, Josabad, Shimei, Keliah, the same is Kalita, Pathaiah, Judah, and Eleazar. Also the singers, Elisha, band of the gatekeepers, Shaluam, Telim, and Uri. And others of Israel, the sons of Perosh, Remiah, Jeziah, Malachiah, Mejamin, Eleazar, Malachijah, and Benaniah, of the sons of Elim, Mataniah, Zechariah, Jaleel, Abdi, Jeremoth, and Eliah, of the sons of Zatu, Elioni, Elishib, Mataniah, Jeremoth, Zabad, and Aziah, Az Aziza, of the sons of Babai, Jehonan, Hananiah, Zabai, and Athlai, of the sons of Beni, Meshalem, Maluk, Adiah, Jashtub, Shaleel, and Remoth. Of the sons of Pehath Moab, Adna, Chaleel, Benaniah, Masaiah, Mataniah, Bezil, Buni, and Manasiah, Manasseh. Of the sons of Himrim, Eleazar, Aijah, Melikaijah, Sheremiah, Simeon, Benjamin, Maluk, and Shemariah. Of the sons of Hashem, Mataniah, Matanah, Zabad, Eliaphet, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Masai, and Shimei, of the sons of Benai, Madai, Aram, Amram, Uliel, 
Benaniah, Bediah, Shalia, Veniah, Merimoth, Elishib, Mataniah, Matanai, Jesai, Bani, Buni, Shimei, Shalemiah, Nathan, Adiah, Machaniadab, uh, Shashai, Sharai, Ezreal, Sheremiah, Shemiah, Shalom, Amariah, and Joseph. Of the sons of Nebo, Jaleel, Mataniah, Zabad, Zabina, Jedi, Joel, and Benaniah. All these had taken pagan wives, and some of them had wives by whom they had children. So you'll have to forgive the pronunciation on a lot of those. Stuff gets messy without God. Um, I don't know how much more I have to add to that. And that is very messy there. So proceed uh, proceed through God's word, friends. Anyway, as always, uh, that's what I took from it. And I appreciate you guys watching. See you, friends. Have a good one.